Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video, which I've never done before, but I've planned on doing them before, but I just haven't like gotten to do them just for various reasons, but I'm doing one today. I'm going to be doing it on a foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. Now the reason I got this foundation wasn't because I really need the coverage, because I'm going to be honest here, I don't. I have really good skin, fortunately for me. But the reason I've bought this foundation and now I want to try it out is because some days like, let's be honest, like, even if you have the best skin, there are some days where you kind of feel like, ugh, I need to cover up a little bit more, have a bit more coverage, and then there are, like, special occasions when I feel kind of weird just wearing concealer and having, like, full face of makeup and everything except for foundation. I'm not going to use one every single day. Even if you're not going to use something every single day out of your makeup, it's still good to have it. And so I've just put on my eye makeup now. I'm just going to put this on and kind of show you how it looks and then I'm going to do the rest of my makeup and uh, just go out for the day I guess. To apply the foundation I'm going to be using my Sephora Professional Mineral Powder Brush. This is actually for like a loose powder because it is so dense I like to use it to blend in foundation concealer and stuff like that. I don't know how many pumps I'm going to need so I'm just going to like put one on my hand. I got it in the color 110 if you're wondering. The only reason I got this foundation specifically was because I saw that it was actually light enough. Oh, I'm just going to dot this around my face. So I just did half a pump more now. So you see I put some dots around my face and I'm just going to start blending it in I guess. If I need more I will add more but we'll see how it goes. This is actually a great match for my skin. It smells nice, like that's a bit of a weird thing to say, but I mean it just it smells nice. It's not incredibly full coverage, but I think I put on a little bit. Little? I'm gonna see if I can build it up. I don't really need to build it up, but I'm gonna see if you can. I'm gonna put a bit more under my eyes because I didn't get that much right there. I mean, the first thing I want to mention is it is a near perfect match to my skin. It looks good, it feels good. I think it's definitely really evened out my skin tone and made it look a lot more even. It's covered a lot of the redness. It doesn't completely cover my freckles because those I think are hard to cover. It covers pretty well because I'm pretty red on my chin and around my nose and that's almost nearly gone. I feel like I won't need to put concealer around my nose or my chin right now, which is great. I was only able to build it up a bit more around here. I'm going to go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. I finished my makeup, my hair is not done. So far the foundation looks really nice underneath. It's pretty dewy. I like it. I just think right now it looks really nice under everything else of makeup wise. I'm really happy with how it looks. I think it really pulls the entire look together. Well it's 10.57 in the morning right now and I think I'll probably check back at around 4. So it is about 4.30 right now. I've basically just gone out a bit for the day, done my thing. Looking at the foundation now, it still looks really good. It's blended in, it's stayed really nice on my skin, it hasn't slid around or anything. I want to mention I don't have a primer underneath this, it's just literally foundation onto my skin. It is a bit oily, sort of on my T-zone, especially down my nose. I don't really mind the shininess anywhere except for the nose. I'll probably repowder it a bit. And as I said, it's not overly oily right now looking, which is good, but that's also probably due to the fact that I have quite dry skin, so it's not as if I have any real oils showing through, but the oils that are showing through is from the foundation. Hey guys, so it is a quarter to 10 right now, hence why I am speaking so quietly. I was just about to go take off my makeup when I remembered. Gotta film the end of this. I'm going to start telling you my final verdict of what I think. I'm definitely oily again. Like wearing this foundation, it's definitely oily. And not just on my nose, especially on my nose, but um, rather than more than other places, but also on my forehead, cheeks. Not really that much of my chin, honestly. To sum up everything I think and found out about this foundation, it's really good if you have fair skin because they've got a range that goes up that light. If you have dry skin, I think it will work really well because since you already have dry skin, it won't make you overly oily, but maybe be a bit cautious if you already have oily skin because this is making me a bit oily and I have dry skin. Not super full coverage, which is obviously something I do not need, but um, coverage enough so that, you know, it does what a foundation needs to do. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm really tired now, so I'm going to go to bed and I will see you next time soon. I don't know. <laughs>